What is the state of the South African consulting engineering sector? Ah, that's, that's a difficult question. <laughs> uh, look, we, we have capacity. Uh, if, if I can start there, we have capacity to get involved in more uh, projects. At the moment, the uh, CESA consulting engineers stand at 90% uh, utilization, which makes uh, us available to uh, take on more work and also available to assist assist government. The uh, concern we have is, is, is a shortage of uh, work. Although there is a drive by government to implement infrastructure, but there is a, a shortage, of, uh, shortage of work which is caused to some extent by the uh, slowness in infrastructure uh, spending by government. So if that can be, uh, the, the rate can be increase of infrastructure spending uh, to say at least the 10% uh, of uh, national development plan as envisaged, uh, of, of the NGP as envisaged in the national development plan, we believe that uh, our industry will be able to uh, sustain itself. As a result of uh, this shortage of work, many of our consulting engineering firms are looking for work elsewhere, uh, particularly in the rest, of, uh, uh, rest of, 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 of Africa, in order for them to sustain themselves and sustain the staff complement that they have. What are some of the other major challenges faced by the consulting engineering sector? The major challenges or challenges in general that are faced by the consulting engineering sector are divided into two, the regulatory challenges as well as the institutional challenges. The regulatory challenges will involve uh, procurement of uh, services. We, as the consulting engineering sector, are uh, concerned about the procurement of uh, our services. At the moment, it's largely driven by price, although it's a uh, price and uh, triple PE points uh, uh, are driven, but with price accounting for 90% in the 9010 uh, system or 80% in the 8020 system. We believe that the system is price uh, are driven and quality or functionality is only used as, as a threshold. Mm. And as a result, we're seeing uh, consulting engineering firms are tendering low and low in order to sustain their businesses. Obviously because of the shortage of, uh, shortage of work, uh, prices have, 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 have gone down. And the, we were saying to government, look, this system must be reviewed because we are not providing a commodity. We are providing a professional service, service and that service must be recognized as a professional uh, service and the experience, uh, qualifications, uh, and to a large extent uh, performance in previous contracts mm. must be then taken into account uh, in, in, in awarding tenders, not only uh, prize and uh, triple PE. You also then, on the other hand, you have, uh, you, 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 you have institutional challenges. And key to those institutional challenges is a shortage of skills in, in, in government. We are uh, of the opinion that in order for infrastructure to be implement, implemented uh, successfully, you need to have an informed client. Uh, clients who are involved in engineering work must have a strong engineering component in order to complement the skills that are in, 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 in the industry. And as, as, as the consulting engineering uh, sector, we are saying we have this capacity at the moment to assist government in transiting from uh, the current problem of uh, shortage of skills. We are offering these services. Many of our member firms are involved in uh, planning with uh, government in also 
uh, assisting government to uh, uh, strengthen their teams mm. in, uh, in the form of uh, uh, professional uh, or project management uh, units or offices where uh, companies basically take over a certain function of, of government, obviously with secondments uh, from, from, from government side for the purpose of uh, training. So this is what we are. This is what we are saying to to government. The long-term solution is a difficult uh, solution than Dave in terms of resolving the uh, shortage of skills because you, in some instances, you have people who are employed in these positions, and what do you do with those 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 people who do not have skills, but uh, for some reasons they are in these positions? What what do you do with them? So it's a challenge that. Uh, government, with the help of business, must then uh, tackle. But for new uh, new vacancies, we will urge government to then employ qualified uh, engineers uh, for engineering posts.